All right, today I'm going to be making burgers, but these are plant-based burgers. Plant-based patties made by Beyond Meat, new company out, Beyond Burger. Now there's 20 grams of protein per serving, per burger. No soy, no gluten. And as you can see, I have a lot of things to go with it. I'm gonna have french fries with this. I'm gonna make these in my air fryer and I'm going to cut out some onion, as well as some tomato to go in the burger. Absolute goodness. Now let's go ahead and open this up, but first, I'm gonna read a little bit on the back of it and see what it says. It says, Beyond Burger, the future of protein is right here. Recommended, all right, recommended how to, to eat. You can grill it, keep, keep refrigerated and use within three days of opening. Do not refreeze, all right? So I'm not gonna refreeze. It says, do not overcook. Edge and interior of patty may still be red or pink when fully cooked. I like that. I like my veggie burgers medium rare or medium well. Absolute goodness. All right, it says, pan, heat, grill. Uh, pan, preheat, grill, or pan to medium high heat and cook for about four minutes per side. All right, so we're gonna do that. But before we get uh, started on that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the vegetables. All right. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up the onion. All right, you can see this, I'm gonna cut up the onion, slices of onion to put on the burger. Absolute goodness, all right, cut up some of this. And then all the trick is to cut the outer edge because it still has the skin on it. And so I'm gonna take the outer edge, peel that off, and I have a plenty of onion to go on my burger. Absolute goodness. Pull it off like that. Put that to the side. Boom, onion. Now let's go into the tomato. I'm gonna take it and cut this tomato in medium to medium size slices. Plenty of tomatoes. All right, absolute goodness. Go ahead, put this to the side. And then I have my onion and tomatoes already. Now we're gonna do some potatoes to put inside of the air fryer. So I'm just gonna cut them first in half. Be careful not to cut your finger. All right, and then I'm gonna cut this in half. Just like that. Turn it right there. One more time like that. So I have these just like that, and this like this. Absolute goodness, all right? So we have those cut up. I'm gonna turn it to this side right here. All right, now I have potatoes for the air fryer. Let's get all started. Right. So now that I have the potatoes cut, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of them, all right? And then I'm going to take the potatoes and just mix them well to get some of the olive oil surrounded and coated on all of them. Absolute goodness, as you can see, absolute goodness. All right, so I have this in here. And then I'm gonna take some of the potatoes, not all of them, and just throw them in the basket right here for the air fryer. Absolute goodness. All right. All right so I'm gonna take the potatoes, potatoes, put them inside of the air fryer, turn this bad boy on, turn the temperature up, turn the air fryer on for a good 12, 15 minutes, and let it cook. Let's get started. All right, so I'm heating up the pan. The recipe doesn't ask for oil, but I'm gonna use just a little bit of oil in the pan, absolute goodness. All right, let me turn on a little bit more light in here. Let there be light, all right? And then I'm just gonna spread the butter around the pan just a little. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit more, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and have the pan heated up to about medium, medium, medium. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the Beyond Burger. All right, open up the Beyond Burger meat. Look at it. Be careful when you're touching it, you don't wanna get vegetable salmonella. 
or plant-based salmonella. All right, so I'm gonna take it and look at the burger first. You see that it says cook, uh, burn the plastic, cook on each side for about um, four minutes. So I'm gonna place one of the patties down in there and then I'm going to place the other patty down in there right there. All right, we are fryatating. It is starting to smell good. Smell like a real manly vegetable burger. I'm just gonna go like this to keep it from sticking a little bit. It's sticking a little bit. All right, so I'm going, to, the oil was a good idea because I got a little bit of, of stictation. I'm just going to fry these up right here, let these fry on a medium heat for about four minutes on each side and see what happens. They are cooking. We're coming up on the four minute anniversary, so I'm going to flip them pretty soon. But before we do that, I want you to see, look at that right there. You see some of the vegetable blood coming out of it right there. That means that they're cooking well, all right? I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna check on here. I don't want these things to burn. This is the first time making plant-based burgers. All right, so be careful. Oh yeah, they're sticking. They're sticking a little bit. All right, I'm gonna just get them up a little bit. See if they're stuck a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. Flip this other side. All right, got the burgers flipped. And so I'm gonna let these cook for an additional four minutes on this side, and then we're gonna be eating some all-American plant-based burgers. Absolute goodness. All right, the burgers should be about done. Let me zoom in so you can see the texturation of the burgers. They are should be done. It's been about four minutes on each side, like the box says. I'm just gonna turn off the fire, and then I'm gonna take these you know, they stuck a little bit, but not too bad. If I used a non-stick pan, they probably wouldn't stick at all. I probably, if I use a non-stick pan, I probably wouldn't have to use the oil, but I did not use it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the burger. Let me go ahead and show you the other side. Look at that, I could put some vegan cheese on there if I wanted to. Look at it, you see like a little bit of the plant blood right there because they're medium well. Absolute goodness. All right, so I have the burgers here, and now I am going to eat them. Absolute goodness. This is ready. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some mayonnaise right here. I have some classic mayonnaise. I'm gonna put a little bit of mayonnaise on the bread. All right. Spread that out a little bit. Then I'm gonna put my burger on the bun. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the texturation of that. Then I'm gonna put some onion, break it up on the burger. And then a little bit of tomato. And then I'm gonna put some catsup on it. All right, absolute goodness, all right. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of more mayonnaise. On top of that, and put it up here and that's my burger. Oh, I forgot about the fries. Let me go grab the fries. I'm gonna put some fries down on here. Absolute goodness. And that's how you make an all vegetable burger.